Hey guys, Dave here. I'm going to do a little uh, VR to the Pipe Professor and his uh, thousand sub giveaway. And he's asked for a tobacco review, which I really don't do because, as I said earlier in my last video, that the minutia of pipe flavors they escape me. I, I'm I'm just my palate isn't that educated. And he wants to do a couple of shout outs to other YouTube pipe community members. So this is my attempt. And for my review, I've chosen something that was a gift to me from uh, Gribbly over at Gribbly's Follies. So you can see that. It's Lord of the Manors, Sutless Lord of the Manor. This is an English blend, and it's a mixture of Latakia, Burley, Virginia. Parique and Oriental tobaccos. So I think they've got pretty much everything covered here. Um, I'm not a big English smoker. Not that I don't like it. I just haven't had enough to uh, to really form a, an educated opinion on whether I like them or not. But we'll start with the uh, the tin note, and I'll tell you. From my experience, I would say that is definitely Latakia or Latakia forward. You get that kind of what would you call it? Almost like a the ketchup, vinegary scent of the perique. There's definitely Orientals in there. Now the Virginia. I think that Virginia is being overpowered. In the Burley, a little bit of a, a nutty scent from the Burleys. I don't know. I've only ever had one bowl of it. And uh, I don't know if you can see the cut. Maybe we'll put a little out here. Oh, uh, that's not working. Making a mess. Oh, look, I spilled an eighth of a bowl. Tell you what, I'll show it to you. One of my custom homemade leather pipe trays. Can you see that? No, you can't. I suck at videography. No, really, I totally suck at it. I know that. <coughs> However, I have it loaded in my aborted mess, which some of you have seen. It's a, uh, a maple stem that I made in a um, poker style bowl out of Purple Heart. It's a uh, rusticated. I don't know. I'll move the camera around later and get it in some better light. I just need to put it up somewhere. Uh, I did the Frank method for stuffing it. Which, other than the one that uh, uh, Unicorn Piper showed, where he uses the palm of his hand and you rub it in to the palm of your hand, which is now my favorite method, but I thought, you know, with this stuff, it's a bit of a longer ribbon cut with some cube cut in it. I thought, eh, we'll try the Frank method. Doesn't take much of a turn, like I'll tell you that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. The Takia is definitely up front, that smokiness. I can't wait for it to warm up a bit. <clears throat> Get my barbecue rolling again. 
This would be a nice one when you're smoking a brisket or a pork butt. It would complement the, the neighborhood smell. You talk about room note, I talk about neighborhood smell. I live in an area, where I've got, uh, on that side over there, I got the preacher. He's a uh, master, what do you call it, pit master? Yeah, he thinks he is. He's got, I, I tease him, he's got an easy bake oven over there. He's got one of those digital pellet fed smokers and I use an egg. And for me, barbecue is all about fire tending. He just sets it and forgets it. We've had competitions. We've gone to competitions, him and I and a few other friends. And sometimes I beat him. Sometimes he beats me. It's all in good fun. And he is an absolute phenomenal, phenomenal pit master. Not as good as me. <laughs> Anyways, back to the tobacco. Hmm. The aborted mess likes this. The burly is is right there. It's it's pretty much right behind the Latakia. Not getting the Virginia. Not getting the Orientals yet. In the retro hail, you get a little touch of sweetness. That would be the Virginia, I would think. So, I'm curious. Pet owners, there's a lot of us out there. When you buy pet food, and they talk about, when they list the ingredients, the first ingredient they list is the majority ingredient. So, I'm curious if Sutliff does the same thing. Because they list the ingredients in this order. It's a complex English mixture of Latakia, right off the bat, Burley, next thing I caught, Virginia, oh, I just detected the sweetness, and then there's the Perique, and then the Oriental. So do you think they list them in order of magnitude, like, you know, whatever they have the most of? I, I don't know. Hmm. I'll tell you, talking about my shout outs, my first shout out is to Nova Piper, a fellow Maritimer, certified crotchety old bastard. <laughs> you know I mean you, Tim. He is an English aficionado. He, if you have a question about an English blend, you ask him. He does not hold anything back. If it's good, he'll tell you. If it's not good, he will tell you. I like that. I like honesty. And he's honest. I think I might have to send him a couple of bowls of this. Because I think he would really appreciate it. I, I'm appreciating it. Maybe it might not be strong enough for him. I don't know. Hmm. Still not seeing the, uh, or feeling, or tasting the Orientals. Not that I would have a freaking clue. Now my next shout out would be to uh, um, Pipe Cat. Down Mass. If you haven't subbed Pipe Cat, so he is one of the best storytellers. And that's one of the things I like about a, a YouTube Pipe community members, the storytellers. And he tells a story like a maritime. And he did a video called, uh, <coughs> what was it? The Old Log Inn. <laughs> Anyways, you got to go see it. I'm, I won't spoil it, but one of the, the best jokes I've ever heard. And I feel stupid for not seeing the punchline coming, but excellent video. Excellent uh, guy. Um, yeah, I have a hard time with the 
the light on this. I don't think it's the tobacco. I think it's the uh, the aborted messes. Oh, it's tight. Maybe my Frank method didn't work. I don't know. Though it is designed for competition smoking, so I don't know. They only get two matches, don't they? Anyways, Pipe Professor, this is my VR. I did my shout outs. My review is Lord of the Manor. It's good English. It's very lot of. Lat I'm getting used to saying it. Latakia forward, because apparently that's the way you say it. Followed by Burley. Followed slimly by Virginia. A little Perique. You get the Perique in the jar note. And as far as the Orientals, I think they're lost in here, but that's just my opinion. So let me try and move the camera into some better light. <coughs> let you see the aborted mess a little better. Just give me a second to flip this around. Hopefully you can see this, because I can't, but it's Purple Heart with a maple stem. It's a four-piece, three-piece, one, two, four-piece maple stem, a little shrink tape on the end, and it's a sitter. Sits well. Doesn't seem to be burning well. Hmm. Don't know what to say about that. What I do know what to say is, have a great weekend, all. Stay hydrated, my friends. We'll see you.